I just hit 1,000 hours on VRChat, and I was really excited to make a video about all the things I like about VRChat, but instead today, something happened, and I think it's more important to talk about. At 11 a.m. today on Discord and Twitter, VRChat announced that they're going to be adding an anti-cheat. This means that they're removing all mod support for the game completely, and any modded clients will just be blocked out and won't be able to log in. I mean, this doesn't affect me, right, though, because I don't use mods. Wink, wink. Don't ban me VR chat. It was, just, it was just a joke. It's just a joke. I just want to be super transparent here. And I do side with the modding community here. I don't think that they should remove all modding support. I think that it's, it's just part of the game. And I'll be talking about that a little bit later. But I definitely don't think they should remove all mod support. I think that they should maybe try out other solutions. Say, uh, communicate with the community more. And like maybe they are already doing that. I'm not really sure because they can very clearly see the terrible reaction that this is all getting. All this announcement is getting on Twitter, on Discord, all of that. And uh, I don't know. I just hope that they do figure out another solution because I don't I don't like this solution. Firstly, and most importantly, I think that this could take away a lot of opportunities for people to play the game who can't usually play the game without mods. For example, I know of a closed captioning mod that would allow people to play if they're hard of hearing, they can play the game. But not only play the game, but have a lot more enjoyment playing it. I know there's a lot of like anti-crash and like mods to lower the quality of the game. So people that have not ideal hardware can still play the game and have a lot of fun as well. And I'm 100% sure that there's tons of other applications where people who can't usually play the game or enjoy it as much as they could can enjoy it more because of the things mods provide for the game. The things people have created for the game to make it better for themselves or other people that might not be able to. The next thing I want to talk about is that the modding community for VRChat is huge. There's a huge amount of people to use mods for sure. I meet people probably, if I go to a pug, probably like at least half the people have client mods. That's just how the game is. The modding community discord has like 32,000 people in it. And the official VRChat discord has only like slightly double that, which is absolutely insane. Okay, this is just a quick correction. I was looking at the people that were online currently, which I still think does matter, but, but I just want to correct myself because I really don't want to spread misinformation. The VR chat server actually has, uh, well, right now it has 75,000 online as I'm editing this and it has 256,000 people total. And the modding community has 36,000 people online with 67,000 people total. That's still not an insignificant amount of people. I just wanted to make that clear really quick. Let's carry on. I don't think it's fair to assume that that's half the player base is using mods or interested in using mods. I think it's a significant percentage of players that are using mods or are interested in using mods. I think that this really shows that mods are part of the game, really. Like... So many people use mods and rely on mods that mods in VR chat are like mods in Skyrim or mods in Minecraft. Like it's just part of the overall experience. And I think that taking it away is, I think it's just something that the community made on top of a community made game, even though it's not like directly supported by VR chat. I think that it's just adds on like the entire game is user generated. The mods are user generated. It just like, it like belongs together. I don't know how to explain that better. I think taking away the features that a sizable amount of the player base uses and enjoys or like relies on to play the game just super negatively impacts the game overall and the community overall especially when there's no real roadmap on when vr chat will implement things that will help replace the positive things that mods brought to the community they said they were going to but as of now they haven't released anything about that they just said that they were planning on it and that they uh don't have anything else to announce but, you know, this seems like a really bad thing, but, you know, VR chat could do something to soften the blow, maybe. Uh, I don't know, do something that would make the community happy or, like, help them realize, that, oh, it's not so bad. We we can do this to counteract uh, uh, all the bad things about it. We could release some features that could help players early on that might help them with this change or, like, maybe we can offer something. Uh, nope. You know what they did to soften the blow? They announced that they fixed portals that were already working as intended. I can't and don't speak for everybody in the VR chat community, but I know there's a lot of like unhappy people and this is pretty controversial for everybody. But I think the easiest thing the VR chat could have done, like even if they were carrying out the anti-cheat thing, I think that they could have worked on some of the features instead of fixing portals that were already fixed to 
help uh transition the player base into that the new chapter of vr chat and like so so at least vr chat players would be able to see the vision a little bit and like understand and like we would know what the future of vr chat would be like that we want to even keep playing it because i don't know i just feel like there's so much gone without mods I feel like the community worked for years and years and years building up the popularity and helping the game become what it is today since literally everything in VR chat other than the game itself it's completely user generated and VR chat themselves are just like knocking all of that down like we're like uh we're like a little kid building with Legos all of us we're like a group of little kids building with Legos building these awesome towers and then VR chat themselves are like the mean big brother like knocking them over breaking everything I and mean, we can't re we can't really do that much about it ourselves except for tell them what we think and it's rough i just want to be super clear that i don't think that it's vr chat not caring or that it doesn't want the best for their community it's maybe like they don't know a better way so they're doing this to try their best but i just think there has to be better solutions for this I also want to just include really fast that I think that if VR chat did have more accessibility options and maybe some of the more, more like comfort things that mods did previously allow players to do, then I don't think there would really be like a need for mods. I'm not saying that like mods should definitely be in the game, but the features that mods give players. I think are really important and i think that they would need a solution for that as well i don't hate vr chat i love vr chat i play vr chat very frequently and i just want to make it clear that uh this video is I, I like i side with the modding community here because it brings so much to the game that we would lose completely if vr chat does end up doing this without providing those features themselves but i think that also vr chat is still a really fun game and for the most part it has a bunch of really good like communities that just hang out there and i think that's a really cool thing and of course i want it to still thrive i just hope that there something happens where everything works out well and the game keeps growing and everything kind of works out well for everybody that's what i would hope for uh anyways let me know what you think in the comments below also let me know if you have anything that you think would be a good solution for vr chat how would you solve the problem if you were in charge i think it's a really hard thing to do and there's a lot to look at and i'm interested in what a lot of you think and uh i don't really know what else to say i'll probably end up making another video about this whole situation but yeah i'm not really sure what else to say i hope you have a good day and uh, goodbye.